Hello and welcome to this Backwards Compatible Comics review. Today we're looking at Unfollow number 7. This is written by Rob Williams with art for a change uh, by uh, Margaret Savage. Letters by Clem Robbins. Um, cover is by Matt Taylor. Um, now this is the series that's been created by uh, Rob, William, Rob Williams and Mike Dowling. But the beauty of it is the way that um, the story follows different characters. Different artists can come in and it's almost a seamless transition because each issue is about a separate person in the 140 of Unfollow. So to that, in this issue we're following Courtney. Now Courtney is uh, seems a bit of an it girl. Um, but what I love about uh, what Rob Williams, Rob Williams does in this issue is he completely changes um, expectations all the time. You see the character, she, change, um, she has issues. Um, you think it's going to be a cliche, but as soon as the cliche comes, he just diverts it away and moves on to something else. And that is excellent. Um, as the story goes on, you, you get to warm to her. You get to understand a bit of what she is and who she is, and a, a lot about her background. And that's and it's a really powerful, yeah, powerful's probably yeah, powerful's a, a good enough word. It's a wonderful story, and it really should something that you should um, you should take your time and go over because it is that good. Um, now I've enjoyed the series so far. I think. It's either out of this and Sheriff of Babylon for my two favourite things coming out of Vertigo at the moment. Um, but I think if, if they carry on in this vein and, and being able to bring in new um, artists at different periods, I think this is really going to stand up to be one of the, the best um, things on the, on the stands at the moment. So definitely worth your time and, and definitely um, something to look at. Now, as you can see, uh, the art flying, flying by, by, by my group, Savage, uh, Savage, I hope that's how I pronounce it. Uh, Marguerite Savage, uh, it's brilliant. Um, there, there's a change, you know. You've got the the, the red and the, the, the red, black and white the, the tones there, and then it goes to full vibrance. Now these are different things. When it depends on it's a flashback or a modern day. The characters all look great. Um, they're easily uh, viewable, and all the faces look bright and, and great. So definitely something to take a look at, and definitely something to take take in. I I hope that she'll uh, that they'll they'll. Um, keep on messing around with the art and having fun uh, because definitely it's something that um, is attractive to look at and definitely something that um, you can't help but want to flick through again and again even after you finish the issue so uh, thank you very much for for watching uh, we'll be back with some more reviews at a later time thank you take care and goodbye